Hi everyone, uh, Fuzu Muhammad Chav with you. Uh, today our main subject is about uh, a solar evacuated tube collector for uh, absorption uh, refrigeration cycle. Um, it's about uh, water lithium bromide and water ammonia cycles. Uh, actually it is um, uh, two cycles in one. Uh, let's see how can we uh, deal with this. Uh, open your MATLAB firstly, open your MATLAB and go to your destination folder. For, this is my working folder, okay? Don't open it for your desktop, just copy it to your main working folder. This is my main working folder, this is my model, so I I have to search for my model here, okay? And this one, okay? I just click and uh, click here to sort by name and group by type. This is very important. Okay, so you can find your, uh, uh, this is your folder with files and um, uh, Excel sheets and everything, ammonia Excel sheets, water Excel sheets, superheat and uh, dry and liquid saturated lines, uh, uh, very important. Okay, this is our memo, this, so all we have to do is double click or drag and drop, okay drag and drop here and now we have here this is our main cycle um, simply this is a solar evacuated tube collector to ensure that you have uh, well above uh, operating uh, conditions uh, for outlet uh, temperature because this is important for the generator in your uh, uh, absorption cycle as you as you know absorption cycle is about a generator to transfer heat from any heat source waste heat solar energy geothermal energy it's about uh, the technique of uh, utilization and we have condenser and for condensation and expansion valve then we have here evaporator for refrigeration and cooling load and we have here the absorber cycle and we have here uh, heat intermediate heat exchanger unit and this is the I main uh, cycle for ammonia for lithium bromide for lithium bromide uh, i have added a cooling tower mechanical draft cooling tower uh, for more uh, uh, condensation purposes um, the cycle contain, uh, contains uh, 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 um, also a uh, flash uh, cyclone for uh, steam gener generation. This is important for the generator. So uh, we have here a hot water inside the flash cyclone. And after uh, some kind of pressure drop, we, we have here steam for the generator. This is our absorption cycle. And the rest of uh, liquid water should be rebumped again to uh, the main solar field uh, unit. And let's see here. Okay, this is our main uh, components. Uh, as you can see here, we have solar collector, and uh, 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 this is uh, ammonia cycle, water ammonia cycle, and this is water lithium uh, bromide. And this is controller which uh, organizes the data from uh, uh, the first cycle, which is ammonia, and uh, the second cycle, which is lithium bromide. And this is your flash tank. And we can we have here. This is your cost analysis block. You can double click here, okay, to assign some main input. And we have here bumping unit, okay. This is a switch arm, so you can uh, switch between lithium bromide or ammonia, it's up to you. Um, okay, first of all, we have to uh, recognize uh, some important aspects for this model. Uh, how can I uh, control my inputs? How can I control my ranges? How can I uh, extract my outputs? Uh, therefore, let's go here. Okay. Let's go. Let's begin from here. Okay, this is the main block, main mother block. Double clicking. Uh, as you can see here, we have solar radiation in order to control uh, the solar field. Uh, actually, this is a design model. Okay, this is a design model. So we need to for design model we need to um, calculate the cost analysis, mass flow rates, and areas. 
uh, and some exergy and uh, analysis. This is very important. So this is solar radiation. If you increase the solar radiation, you will surely reduce your solar field area because uh, th there is some kind of direct reflection to your uh, uh, design. And we have here ambient temperature or reference temperature. Okay, uh, this is outlet temperature from the solar field. You can control it on your cooling load. It's up to you. Uh, what is your cooling load you are going to use? Um, for theater, for room, for um, building, it's up to you. Okay, suppose, uh, how can I change this uh, uh, this range? Let's emphasize, control plus, okay, control plus, okay. How can, this is from one up to uh, 500, for example, okay. You can uh, uh, exceed the limit if you would like, uh, maybe 10, let's see tongue refrigerant and solar radiation is from 100 up to 120 how can I change this limit you can change this, this limit from here just one click here right click right click here and going to the mask and edit mask uh, you can do this for all uh, for parameters okay you can go here this is my solar radiation so now I can control this maximum and minimum limits you can simply transfer this to a, a, a text box edit without any ranges i i do prefer this one let's reduce solaration to 1000 hit apply okay and double clicking you realize this, this it is once only 1000 okay okay uh, let's control minus okay um, let's go here okay for uh, let's see here for a solar a solar uh, 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 panel okay I would like to choose there's some kind of uh, three types of solar uh, evacuated tubes I do prefer this one because this is uh, a scientific project with accurate data type CD hydraulic mass flow rate tube diameter tube uh, lens number of tubes uh, minor losses okay no more than this okay uh, because it's a design model as you can see here this, these are your inputs to your uh, solar field and there is an input from the bump outlet from the bump should be uh, your input uh, to your uh, solar field okay let's see here let's go for if you would like to inspect it inside just click here you will find emphasize this this is your uh, solar field as you can see here outlet uh, p uh, water pressure uh, pressure losses uh, total field area uh, solar collector area thermal power number of collectors uh, loops uh, exergy analysis exergy out exergy in exergy efficiency uh, and so on we have uh, we have done a, a uh, a video to tutorial video about this before if you double click here you can uh, you can use the code if you would like copy it with tags the code is uh, with tags you so it, is, it will become easy for you to adapt it in your uh, research activities and uh, uh, your work okay let's double click here for ammonia okay ammonia should be uh, uh, assigned from inside okay for bombing let's double clicking efficiency only efficiency cost analysis we need to assign operating hours uh, interest rate load factor uh, specific power cost depending on your country uh, the price uh, the electric price uh, US dollar per kilowatt hour uh, plant lifetime it should be 20 years okay and hit apply and okay for flashing let's see okay we need just the steam velocity okay 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 let's see here for ammonia let's go inside uh, this is flashing cycle this is uh, uh, the steam tables or liquid tables for uh, water because this is water cycle through the flash tank and you are allowed to 
uh, extract some results such as uh, design aspects for the flash unit, cross section area, and diameter, tubes diameter, dryness fractions. This is very important. Dryness fraction. Okay. And let's see if we can go for the pump. Pumping power, outlet temperature, outlet install B, and excess destruction rate. Let's go for ammonia cycle. Okay. For this one, we need to assign. Also, we need to assign some uh, main parameters. Let's go for absorber, double clicking. You have to assign only temperature of your absorber. Oh, I do recommend this value. Uh, why? Because of this. I have the I have done this before because it's about I have uh, some research articles about this one. So I um, I measure this this particularly this uh, system and. I do recommend these values for your uh, operating conditions. Uh, top temperature, okay. Uh, generator temperature, it's between 80 and 90. Condenser temperature between 40 and 45. And evaporator temperature from 5 to 10. And efficiencies and so on. And this is my equations and I have here some outputs uh, because this is a published work okay for less compromise as you can see the effect of less emphasize here this is these results are extracted from uh, from this model particularly okay for the cop as you can see you realize the cop is decreasing if we intended to increase the absorber temperature okay and this is cop max uh, exercise the structure rate surely uh, will increase okay and this is uh, flow rate through the absorption uh, uh, air cycle okay as you can see at 50 ton refrigerant 100 ton refrigerant 150 uh, cooling water flow rate uh, area the total area area total area means Absorber area, uh, evaporator area, condenser, uh, a generator, all tubes. Okay, and we have here. This is if we use uh, as effect of absorber temperature, as you can see here. And we have another one for condenser temperature. If we intended to increase the condenser temperature, as you as you can realize here, there is some kind of uh, dropping in uh, area. This is the behavior of your area, and we have here, I think, evaporator temperature. If we increase the evaporator temperature a uh, little bit, oh, surely it is from 5, as you can see, the range is from 5 up to 10. This is your behavior, okay? This is the direction and so on. So you have all the analysis, and this, uh, this paper is included in your uh, download file, so you can find it. Uh, generator temperature if we exceed the, te the generator temperature you can increase your COP uh, uh, surely uh, this is for less compromise okay collector temperature we have also effect of the increase of collector temperature on your uh, mass flow rate and total cycle flow rate dryness fraction should be increased dryness fraction increasing that would mean uh, uh, increasing the steam flow rate surely flash tank uh, volume surely will increase if you increase the temperature of your solar field you will need more space for your steam uh, solar collector area solar thermal power i think this is okay i'm sorry okay this is all of these that are for uh, uh, lithium bromide let's see if we can okay cooling effect if we increase the load total uh, cooling load okay as you can see here the effect of cooling load on your uh, levelized bar cost um, uh, economic product cost uh, flash tank okay uh, let's go for ammonia water as you can see here's the same uh, we have the same effect of absorber area uh, cop cop max and uh, con uh, condenser temp uh, temperature, generator temperature, evaporator. 
uh, I read that increasing evaporator temperature will uh, increase the COP, that's for sure. And uh, the same results, the same effect. Okay, and this is my recommendations. Absorber temperature, uh, condenser temperature, evaporator temperature should be from 7 up to 10, generator temperature from uh, 85 up to 90, and so on. Uh, the same results, nearly the same results. Uh, surely different values, but you have the same behavior, I, I think. I mean the same behavior. And case study, if you would like. Let's go back to our cycle. Okay. So you can assign here for evaporator. What is your um, uh, evaporator temperature? Okay. As you can see from uh, 5 to 10. Uh, for performance, we need to assign COP for design, reference temperature for exergy, condenser, condensation temperature, generator, uh, generator temperature, let it be uh, 75, for example, let's see. And uh, heat exchanger effectiveness, okay. And fan, fan co uh, cooler, okay. Uh, ambient temperature, and let's see here. Uh, outlet air temperature, this is your desired temperature. Uh, I would like to cool down the temperature from 25 uh, down to uh, 15 degrees Celsius. Fan efficiency duct diameter. Okay. Uh, if you serve inside, let's go. This is your absorber, heat exchanger, data. Surely you can uh, double click and adapt your heat exchanger. You can use your uh, equations here if you'd like. Generator. Okay. And so on. Now we have to uh, go for this one. Lithium bromide. This lithium bromide is from outside. Uh, I couldn't find uh, more time to to make it inside. So, absorber temperature the same. Generator, evaporator temperature, and uh, condenser temperature. And we have here elite air temperature. This is uh, room temperature or space temperature. And we would like to cool down uh, it to 20 or 15. It's up to you. Okay, um, okay, okay. So, and the same, we can serve inside. This is your lithium bromide cycle. Uh, nothing here. Okay, effectiveness for the absorber. If uh, nothing here, performance, reference temperature for exergy, condenser. Okay, nothing here. Okay, but you can serve inside. Okay. Uh, this is your um, the controller nothing here and cost analysis if you would like okay now you have to run this one saving okay and make it run here uh, okay it finished it's about ammonia if you go inside here for uh, lithium bromide for example there's no results no result because i switched my arm to ammonia cycle so for ab absorber as you can see here um, these are your inputs because the, the system the whole system is in entire loop there is a forward and backward stream a lot of forward and backward stream it is not an easy system so these are your uh, main inputs as you can see here this is your process and these are your outputs strong mass flow rate weak mass flow rate absorber power absorber area heat exchanger surely if you increase the power the load let's increase the load here let it be 50 for example and turn it back watch the area okay saving run okay the area is increased uh, almost three times because we increased the uh, the term refrigerant okay heat exchanger outputs generator okay power area and so on condenser the same evaporator the same okay and you have to collect you can collect your data from here you can collect your data from uh, workspace from here as you can see here for example this is your collector area okay uh, collector efficiency okay exergy fan horsepower okay 
and uh, evapor uh, outlet collector in Salbi. Okay, and uh, let's see here for performance. This performance is a performance block, uh, especially for your uh, ammonia cycle. Uh, so this is your generator power, maximum COP you can extract, uh, relative performance ratio, and uh, uh, total exercise destruction rate. Okay, and fan cooler, as so you see here, outlet air velocity, mass flow rate of your air, fan power, uh, fan exercise destruction, outlet fan uh, exercise. Okay. Uh, nothing for absorb uh, for uh, lithium bromide because we switched our cycle. Let's go for cost analysis. So uh, this is your cost hourly cost for your solar field, flash tank hourly cost, absorption cycle uh, hourly cost, bumping power cost, cooling tower. There is no cooling tower cost because there is no cooling tower in your ammonia cycle. Uh, to, this is your total hourly cost, utilized power cost, and uh, uh, thermoeconomic product cost. This is very good, very important parameter uh, to measure your uh, cycle outputs. And uh, let's go here. Let's go for flash tank. Okay. This is your flash tank design aspects. The, uh, 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 flash, flashing dryness for action. Okay. Um, if, uh, water uh, at the bottom of your tank, total flow rate of uh, the water cycle, uh, total tank uh, volume, and so on. So you can. This is your bumping power. Okay, outlet bump temperature, and, and so on. So the system simply you can switch between your cycle just in one uh, model. Okay, let's bromide or the ammonia. You can control your uh, your load. You can control your um, uh, input and output parameters. And remember that these are your uh, optimum values, as you can see here. These are your optimum values based on my research. I'm sorry, based on my research. Absorber temperature should be uh, 30 degrees Celsius. Evaporator should be 10 degrees Celsius. Generator temperature 90, condenser is 40, uh, collector outlet temperature should be 175, okay, uh, and so on. And okay, uh, so this is a, a case study, and this is my recommendation based on my uh, research because I, it took me uh, almost one month to finish this work and to extract these um, results from your uh, your model and uh, finally i would like to thank you very much for interest in our mod don't forget to I, I i would like to inform you that if you would like to use a dynamic system or run this system in dynamic mode by changing the results let's go for one one example let's go for one example um but firstly you have to let's see uh, going to the flash tank okay i would like to extract my results how can i uh, inspect my result just highlight your signal and click here send it to data inspector okay so be sure that there is a small square or for um, a new newer versions of matlab you can find it as a wi-fi signal okay and bumping power okay it is highlighted this is small square that means that your data are will be sent to your um, data absorber plate okay okay we can uh, highlight this for example okay and let's go for here generator okay condenser let's see if we can evaporator okay Let's highlight some signal. Just one example, okay. And this one also should be highlighted, okay. Saving, and you can save as your model was, uh, for another version. And uh, let's let's see if we can here uh, set your simulation time into infinity. Okay, for this one, I set my simulation time. Um, 
for example, if I would like to change the solar field, my simulation time should be your solar field temperature. If I would like to inspect the effect of uh, generator temperature, so my simulation time should be from 80 to 95 and so on. Uh, let's see here. I will set my simulation time into infinity because I would like to just random running. Uh, let's see if this is ammonia cycle. Okay, ammonia cycle. I would like to increase the load. Let's see if I double prepare this menu. I would like to change some parameters. Let's begin from uh, 2, for example. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, and hit run. And, uh, okay, hit run and start to change the slider with your uh, keyboard arrows. Let's go here, running. Okay, now I, I will uh, decrease the solar radiation. Decrease it a little bit. Okay, I'm decreasing it. Okay, increasing the solar field temperature. Maybe, okay. Increasing the cooling load. Okay. Okay, let's increase the cooling load. And return it back again, decreasing it. Okay. And click OK. And stop your solution time. Let's see if cost analysis. Okay, let's go inside here for data inspector and see what I have done here. Okay, add more slots, for example. Let's see. Collector hourly cost. Okay, changing flash tank hourly cost. Put it here on, on the same figure. Uh, absorption hourly cost. Okay. We can change the uh, okay, it is from zero up to uh, two e three, for example. Okay, uh, variation. Let's go for for uh, nine hundred. Okay, as you can see, changing because this is my uh, random uh, inspection. Uh, area for example area mass for rate of your refrigerant I think this one uh, and maximum COP I'm sorry See, this one let's go for up uh, yes 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 the product cost and uh, mass for rate through the solar field is from zero okay mass for rate to the solar field uh, collector temperature, no change, mass flow, weak, this is your weak uh, flow rate, okay, and so on, you can uh, uh, send your, your data to a figure, and you can uh, just one click here and send your data to a figure, and you can handle it easily by uh, controlling your plot and uh, changing your axis and so on, I, I did this that before, okay, I did that before, uh, finally, I would like to thank you very much for your interest in our models. Don't forget to uh, like, share and uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.